Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Marvel Legend review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Deadpool Wave, Build-A-Figure Sasquatch, Deathlock. And here is Deathlock out of the packaging looking really cool in my opinion. If Hasbro would consistently put out figures like this, I would be blown away, honestly. This is a great figure. All the accessories, the costume details, all the paint apps are great. This is a great figure. I do think it's a new body mold. I can't pinpoint where any of this is from. So if any of you guys know, please please let me know where the body mold is from. I, I can't figure out any of it i think it's a completely new mold but uh the costume looks really good i really like the red and the in the yellowish orange they blend they blend in really well together the so the silver legs and the silver arms look awesome the brown bands on his um, knees and uh, wrists look really good and the boots are really killer so we'll go ahead and take a closer look at him let's go ahead and take a closer look at his accessories then we'll take a closer look at him himself so first up, Deathlock comes with his minigun. Um, this is a really cool gun. Um, I really think Cable should have came with this. But uh, the detail in it is pretty nice. The barrel up here rotates, so that's pretty cool. And then um, it has all the barrels in the front right there, and those four in the front. That's really cool. Yeah, the detail in this is really awesome. And then it also comes with the ammo. It has like a gold shine to it. And it fits perfectly in right here. But um, at the at this end, it has some sort of peg. So I'm curious to know if it pegs into his back. And we'll take a closer look at that a little later. So next up, he comes with his handgun, which is really, really cool. Has that scope on the top and uh, extra clip. So he's going to fire a lot of rounds with this sucker. But this is a really cool gun. I really like this. We'll see how it looks in his hand in a minute. And last but not least, he came with the right Sasquatch arm, which has really nice detail into it. And we'll take a look at Sasquatch once I finish this wave. So far, I've only gotten Deadpool and Deathlock. All right, so aesthetically, Deathlock looks great to me. This head sculpt came out really good. The uh, armor plate on his skull looks really, really good, and the eyes came out great, and he has that kind of zombie texture in his skin, so all that came out really great. I really like the shoulder pads, and I really like that metal arm. That That's probably my favorite feature about this character, but I really like the way the hose comes down from his chest and into the peg right there, and I really, really like the backpack that he came with. Uh, this is what I was talking about where I'm curious if the bullets peg into anything there. I'll go ahead and mess around and take a look at that. So one cool thing is that this peg comes out, and then you can peg it right back in. So that's pretty cool. And the American flag looks really good. The orange has no bleeds or anything like that, and the red looks really good. I don't know where these arms are from. I think these are new arms, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think it might be from the uh, UK Spidey. Not too sure. That belt looks really good, and the gun... I'm sure fits perfectly in that holster. Yeah, I'll take a closer look at that in a minute. Shorts, a little low. You could have made them a little shorter, but whatever. Could have came down to here instead of up there, but whatever. <laughs> Again, the, the metal and the, the legs look really great. The knee pads came out really cool. And then the boots themselves are really, really nice. I like the gold and the silver detail. And then all that red looks really good. So aesthetically, I'm really happy with this figure. All right, so taking a look at his articulation. First off, the backpack can come off, so it might hinder his shoulder a little bit, but just in case, you can take it off. Uh, you do get a 360, the arms do go up, and we have an upper arm swivel, double jointed elbow, which is a little hindered by his wrist, 
by the wristband. And then we have a 360 at the wrist with a hinge, which is always good. We have a upper torso, which bends about that much, goes back about that much. Okay. Lower torso swivel, legs kick out about that much, which is pretty good. Up that much, double jointed knee, upper swivel, pivot, and rockers. Alright, and here he is next to some other Marvel Legends. On his right, we have the Liefeld Deadpool, and on his left, we have the Juggernaut Wave Wolverine with the May Shelf uh, head sculpt. So he looks really good next to these characters. He looks great next to Wolverine. Wolverine looks so short next to him. And then next to Deadpool, he does look like he's a lot tougher than Deadpool. But I'd be pretty interested to find out who'd win between Deadpool and Deathlock. Most likely Deadpool because he's just so insane. But that'd be a pretty good matchup. And here he is next to Nick Fury, the shield agent body on his right. And they look really good next to each other. And on his left, we have Scourge. And for some reason, he looks smaller than Scourge. They're standing right next to each other. Scourge looks freaking tiny next to him. That's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, he looks great next to Nick Fury. So that works. All right, so yeah, I, I really like the way the gun looks on him. Um, the minigun looks great in his arms. Um, he's able to hold it with both hands, which is pretty cool. Just have to finesse it a little bit with that hand. And then you get it on there. And he looks great with it. I have the uh, bullets plugged into his other gun right there, which looks kind of silly, but I just did it real quick. So I really like the way this figure looks and came out. Did a great job, Hasbro. All right, guys, that's going to be it for my review of the new Marvel Legend Deathlock. Uh, this is a killer figure. I think Hasbro knocked it out the park. I think they did a great job on capturing the likely likeness of the comic book character. Uh, this is his original costume, and I think they did a great job with it. I do want to try and get a second one and paint it black for the uh, X-Force version of him. But uh, I am really happy with this one. Um, I just got him today. Super stoked. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set up some shots right now and do some ACBA with him. So with that being said, if you guys haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be doing some giveaways pretty soon. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of this review, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.